Hey, this is Steven. I'm Christian. I'm Joey. And we are in Amberlynn. You're watching the world of Lewis. Oh, God. It is 99X, and tonight at the Masquerade, Foxy Shazam and the fellas that I have right in the studio with me right now, Amberlynn. Now, now they're clapping. Yeah. Be careful. Hands on the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> now, fellas, before uh, before we went into your my, one of my favorite jams, Impossible, we were talking about the ties to Atlanta, how Amberlynn has ties to Atlanta. Now, the, your producer on this new album, Brendan O'Brien, lives right here in Atlanta. How did you guys hook up with him? Wow, a miracle. Uh, uh-huh. It was just one of those things where, um, you know, we had come up with a wish list of all the producers that we would love to work with. But Brendan wasn't even on the list because it's Brendan O'Brien. Right. I mean, that is that is that is so far fetched, you know. That's like on your bucket list you put down winning the lottery. You right. know, so our manager called him was just like, Hey, you guys are playing a show in Atlanta tonight and Brendan O'Brien wants to come out and talk to you. And Whoa, why? We, <laughs> yeah, I mean, what, what do we do? What do we do to him? I don't, yeah, yeah. Are, are you sure he called the right number? Um, so he came out, sat on our bus, and we all just like froze. I mean, it's just one of those things where you just let but him. He was talk. so nonchalant. He was just like, "Hey guys, what's up?" I yeah, just, like, telling stories. Like, <laughs> yeah, rally. Well, you like, guys really got starstruck with with him. Oh, yeah. come right. on! He's I mean, that's, that's every all grade. the records that we used to listen. I mean, as yeah. growing up, right. he wrote the soundtrack to every. Oh, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like Pearl Jam. the soundtrack yeah. to oh, our yeah. childhood. Yep. What kind of flavor did he give you for this record? Wow. Or what did he add that was different than just you guys going into the studio? I think I think he absolutely just like honed into what Amberlynn is. You know, like all these years we kind of like not that we were still searching, but that but that we just felt like you know we had so many places we wanted to go, so many things we wanted to do on a record that he kind of brought, narrowed it down into being like this is pure unadulterated Amberlynn. This record, you know, like this sound, these tones, you know, and it was awesome because I equate it to to being like. And it was like a whole different league, you know, like all these years we had played like high school ball and stuff right. like that. And suddenly like he, he walks in the room and it's like playing in a whole new division, a whole new league, you know, wow. not that other producers were bad. They're right. incredible, but it's just like, he's worked with so many other great musicians right. that we were like suddenly thrust into this alternate universe of, you know, like, and we, and we had to come with our A game and we had to, we had to go and, and like perform at the, the best we could. And we did, it was amazing right. to see like how few takes that we had to do because it mentally you were like i've got to get this right like i'm gonna get it right right now and so it was incredible i I love how you said that on your wish list he wasn't even on there because he's that big yeah no we didn't think that was obtainable no way right you don't contact brendan o'brien like hey man we want to do want to do a record no right Yep. It's more of his kind of Brendan O'Brien Jesus, contacts so. you. Right, yeah. right. <laughs> Which is freaky. Here, that's another thing, is that's why we got to work with him. See, our our record label had been trying to make let you know make him work with all these other artists all these other years. And he'd be like, no, 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 no. Right. And so suddenly they, they, you know, we call him and like, hey, uh, Brendan O'Brien wants to work with us. They're like, Yes! Yeah, right. uh, green, yes! Light. Green, green light, green light, green light, go. I don't even want to hear the songs. <laughs> yeah. Just go. Right. So, yeah, that's yeah, that was really incredible. I'm sure it'll be fine. Just go. Now, I put out earlier today, I was like, hey, I got Amber Lynn coming into the studio. I put it on Facebook. What kind of questions do you have for the band? So here's a couple questions that we have from some of your fans here in Atlanta. Like uh, Liz Allen says, the weirdest performance experience. Ooh, that was good. Oh, man. Oh, there's so many. Yeah, there is. <laughs> we just recently played in a theater, and um, it was a very, very small town. And so we played, you know, it was like one of those off days. So we used to play this little market, you know, just kind of just to fill the gaps on a bigger tour. We were out with Switchfoot. And so these people showed up, but like I was sitting at a coffee shop before we went to play the show, and somebody was like, Hey, man, you going to the show tonight? He's like, Yeah. He's like, Who's playing? He's like, I don't know. So like they didn't care. This mill town didn't even care who was playing. It right. was just, Hey, it's a rock and roll show. Let's go. <laughs> right. So we get event. there. And it's just like these people had no clue what to do. It's like they had never been to a rock show. There was a fight in the middle of a song. <laughs> like a slow song. Too. Like a slow, like a slow song. <laughs> and these people are just butt punching. There's nobody's singing wasted. along. Everybody's, everybody's like, wasted. Be- you know, nobody's singing along. They have no clue who we are. And right? it was so Was there awkward. chicken wire up between you and There and should then, have been. Like <laughs> that would have yeah. been actually really, really cool. Yeah, but yeah that would have been awesome. But no, there was not. Oh, well, fellas, uh, one more uh, really quick because I know you guys got to go do sound check but uh 
Amanda Jones just says, love them. Exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. The answer point. to that is yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, guys, you are playing tonight at the Masquerade with Foxy Shazam. Doors are at 7 o'clock. Amberlynn, thank you guys for stopping by today. You got today. it. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for having us.